no sleep. The flashbacks. I wouldn't wish them on nobody in the world. I'm not even you. When we showed you the grandmother of seven year old Ayanna Jones crying on the stand last week, was she overcome with unimaginable grief? Or was she intentionally trying to sabotage Officer Joseph Weekly's defense? Weekly's defense attorney calls it sabotage, and today he's asking for a mistrial. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig was in the courtroom, and Kim, we understand they questioned each juror about this, right? That's right, Joanne, and each juror did say that they could still be fair and impartial. But Weekly's defense attorney, Steve Fishman, called the testimony of Myrtilla Jones last week a diatribe and asked for a mistrial. Do we allow a witness to deliberately and premeditatively try to sabotage Officer Wheatley's, Wheatley's right to a fair trial by putting on a performance like we saw on Wednesday? Officer Joseph Wheatley's defense attorney, Steve Fishman, asking the judge to declare a mistrial today after what the jury saw last week from Martilla Jones. You killed my grandbaby. You killed her and you tried to blame me. You know I never touched you, Mr. Weekly. Fishman called the wailing of Martilla Jones on the stand a deliberate and premeditated attempt to sabotage Officer Weekly's defense. Ms. Jones needs to learn that her actions have consequences. You can't come in here and act a fool and try to intentionally create a situation where this man can't get a fair trial. Officer Weekly is charged with involuntary manslaughter and careless discharge of a firearm in the death of seven-year-old Ayanna Jones. The little girl was shot and killed during a raid in 2010. And Officer Weekly has said Ayanna's grandmother, Myrtilla Jones, lunged at him and hit his gun, causing him to accidentally pull the trigger. Myrtilla Jones denies ever touching Weekly or his gun. I get no sleep. The flashbacks. I wouldn't wish them on nobody in the world. I'm not even you. Judge Cynthia Gray Hathaway denied the defense's motion for a mistrial, but said she will not allow the trial to turn into a zoo and will have no problem telling witnesses that their behavior cannot continue if it's out of order. If the witnesses decide to come in and continue to put on a show, uh, which I think may influence this jury, then the court is going to declare a mistrial. And you may remember Weekly's first trial here at Frank Murphy ended with a hung jury and the judge called a mistrial. And Judge Hathaway says that if she has to declare another mistrial, there may not be another trial. Mertilla Jones returns to the stand tomorrow morning and Action News will be there. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News, back to you.